I heard someone recently say that they had the most friends when they were the worst version of themselves. This is the truth. When I was the worst version of myself, I used to be able to call up at least 10 to 20 people and say, hey, come over, let's hang out or let's go out to dinner. Not realizing friends sometimes categorize you. Oh, sometimes you're the ugly friend. That's why they want to hang out with you. Sometimes you're the poor friend that makes them look good. Sometimes you're the friend that you just want to dump on an energy vamp off of. And I've been all of those friends until around 28, 29. And I hit that sadden return, baby. And everything changed for me. I left religion. Somebody passed away, left me inheritance. And all the friends went scattering. Nobody wanted to be my friend anymore. When I stopped group thinking, I said I didn't care if I got married or not. I didn't care if I had children or not. Oh yeah, they didn't want to be my friend anymore. And I'm not going to front. I side eye people who have like an entourage of friends that they've known since they were kids. Now maybe one or two. But to me, that's a sign. Are you really spiritually advancing? Are you growing? Are you healing? And it's so much easier for people to be around broken people because they make them feel good and they feel okay about their shit and them not advancing and them not healing, them not doing the work. And I've literally had friends say to me, oh, don't lose too much weight. Oh, no, don't do that. That's too expensive. A true friend would want to see you advancing. They want to see your money growing. They want to see you with a good man or woman. But most of these friends, uh-uh, no. And it's even easier to find love when you're broken. I'm sorry, it is. I want you to analyze the people in your life who are in marriages and relationships. See what kind of person are they. When I was the worst version of myself, I got three proposals. I had a man one time show up at my job and I didn't even give him any yet. And I look better now at 40 than I do in my 20s. Ain't nobody chasing me. Ain't nobody stalking me like that. Because they're not going to waste their time dealing with women who love themselves. Who know the game. Who know better. Who makes you be accountable. And to add on to this, there's something else I noticed. When I was religious, I was a Christian seven-day Adventist growing up and in my 20s. I noticed that I had more sex as a Christian. I had horrible friends when I was a Christian. I had horrible lovers when I was a Christian. And I just had more spiritual warfare and bad things happened to me as a Christian. But as soon as I left, a lot of those things quiet down can y'all relate to that as well do you feel you were your worst self when you were in religion 